Hello and welcome to another fantastic Gemini Rogues video. This is a German light tank of a tier 7 series and it is called the Spey Panzer. Okay, well, go on then, let's the go. Spey on. Panzer, tier 7 light tank. Um, it was built to make recon tanks a little bit more anti tank, <laughs> not just to recon, but actually do a bit of damage all the way. Designed from 1956 to 62 and made by Ochkiss Klockner Unbolt Dios Company. Okay. Quite a mouthful. I believe you. Uh, they only made one, a prototype, which is still exists. It's in a museum oh, in Koblenz. Cool. So they actually made it. And this is the little thing, a little this bit is, of a B. So Ochkiss are a bit of a car company. Okay. And the other uh, engine manufacturer. So we'll have a look at this. We've got the top one. This Pratt is a tractors and the tractors. Yeah, made a few of them as well. Okay. So it's got the Opskish engine, as you can see, the mech engines. And the engine is only 230 brake horsepower. But when you see the army, you're going to realise that's quite a lot. <laughs> <It's good. Look laughs> There's not gun. much to power around. Fantastic gun. gun. The gun's pretty good. The 90mm Mika or Mesa, I don't know which way you want to say it. Rate of fire, 8.96, which doesn't sound too impressive. But then look at that. High penetration, 158, 220 damage. Big ol'. 210 from its heat rounds as its secondary ammunition for 220 again. Uh, yeah. You don't really bother with HE, but 45 pen for 270. Impressive aim time, 2.2 and 0 0.36, 0 0.36 even actually, which is again pretty pretty good. 43 yeah. on the traverse, um, the, uh, view range 390 meters and 745 sign. It, you can open up the indent panzer on it, and it also leads on to its big brother, the orc. The orc. Sometimes we refer to it as the Baby orc. No. I thought he was going to say Chesney for a minute. <laughs> yeah, not bad at all. <laughs> it's an old joke. <laughs> so, equipment wise, coated optics, you can do a little bit of that. You probably you can fit binos as well in a cam on it. I use the gun rammer just to get yeah. rid the that's, reload down a bit very, as well as the vents. That's very medium setup, that. Very medium. Yeah. I, I think this plays more as a light slash tank destroyer, and you'll see why when we get, we get going into okay. it. So, it points 880. It's not a lot. It's not bad. Concealment 67 for the point three two. That's Is that pretty high. Hybrid hard. engine. Ooh, no, just the old gearbox mounts and stuff uh, like that. So okay. 24.29 power to rate ratio. 58. Sounds quite quick, but it's the slowest of the tier 7 light. So it's not racing around too quick in this thing. There's the gun. That's what it's all about. 6.7 reload. Uh, 10 degrees of gun depression, which is quite impressive. And the accuracy is pretty good as well. 0.36 on a light tank. Uh, low terrain resistance. 44 degrees. So it's quite agile to a point. Okay. So 390 meter view range is very good. Top so of seven. the tier 7 lights up there with the American stuff. 745 signals. It is what it is. Cut that little radio there, man. Oh, ammo racks. Oh, the, nasty. When we get a little bit of a problem with the tank, you can them see the nasty them ammo, ammo racks. If you're running away, you're going to take one straight in the ammo rack. Also, shell velocity, 630 metres a second. And look at the HE round. It's hardly, I think I could throw one quicker. Yeah. 338 metres a second. It, it becomes a problem when you're trying to shoot on the move. Only a three-man yeah. crew, again, when we come to armor profile, and I'll talk more about that crew, because that is the problem. But That's the armor. It's not a, <laughs> does, it, it, does, it, does it not no, change no, color? It's, it's basically an armored car. It's the first World of oh, Tanks armored car. Sweet. There is nothing on there at all. So, like you say, modules and crews get killed very, very easily. Is that 21 millimeters? Yeah, that's it. That's your full bore. So, we'll get on to play style. If I you want to play a spare panzer, I probably advise passive scouting to start with. Why? Although this tank is small and it's got yeah. quite good concealment ratings, it's not the fastest. It's the slowest of the tier 7. So if you run into any of the others yeah. with a slow firing gun, they're going to rip you to pieces. They're going to mince you. You're going to get shredded. It's, yeah. it's more ideal to wait a little bit Hang back, do a little bit of scouting yourself. But the other problem with this tank, because it's slower, yeah. other tanks, I'll use Prokhorovka as an example, Prokhorovka. can get to the mid ridge quicker than you. Okay. So they get the spots, they light yeah. things up quicker, they get the assisted points. Yeah. So you kind of lose that in that regard straight away. Yeah. So there's no point racing there, you're not going to be there first, you're not the quickest. If yeah. there's other light tanks in your team, sometimes the mediums are quicker. Use your gun. Like I said before, I mentioned it briefly, a little bit of a, a light tank destroyer. Look at that, puts a big hole. Yeah. And that's an heavy tank, and it's not struggling with a pen, 158 pen, but yeah. well, you can see straight away, shell velocity is yeah. an issue. So, it, although it does do this tank uh, roll pretty well, yeah. it's not perfect. Do you spam gold a lot? No, we don't tend to use it. But can they you? Are, you can do, we will use some in this round just to show it, the heat rounds as well. So you've got to remember the heat, yeah. so you've got to watch heat, out for spaced rounds. armour. You spotted as well. It's yeah got no armor at all so remember he rounds are going to go straight through you and they're going to make big holes in you we're trying to back his teammates up here 
again, you're going to see what I'm talking about with the fire rate. You're not even going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe fire rate with a medium tank. You're going to outperform you with that in that regard. Okay, 158 right. you're going to get from your standard AP shell, but look, yeah. it does lay it down quite quickly. Yeah. That is a point. DPM, 1,971. Only yeah. out DPM the tier 7 light tank by the CMCD, the American tier 7, okay. like the like and yeah. the area that don't fire the clip. Okay. Finished off that tank quite, quite quickly. Quite like the like. Yeah. Okay. But when it comes to the other tier 7 lights, you, yeah. you, you DA with the clip, 1800 DPM, yeah. LTG 1800, then you drop down to the AMXs of this world and the WZ 1600. If I were going to put it in a bracket with the lights of tier 7, I'd say the WZ 131, very similar. Similar gun penetration, only one difference, and similar gun damage. The WZ is doing 200, this is doing 220. Aim yeah. time, it's quite high on this, but the WZ is even higher at 2.5. 2.2 on this, the American stuff aims in 1.9 and 2.1, respectively. You can't really compare it to the clip tanks because they play in an all different role. Oh, yeah. But this yeah. is more of like we're doing now a peekaboo shoot, yeah. drop back. It's even better this if you can get all down. It's a really small turret. You've got oh, 10 okay. degrees of gun depression to work with as well. Yeah. And then you're going to see me side scraping. I'm not side scraping to use my armor here, by the way, just to make myself a smaller target. But you're playing this like a medium model rather than a well, scout model. I'm playing it more as a medium because I've been forced into by the. Team. The team that's what's happening, as in we're getting yeah. flanked on this side. It's not yeah. normally a trait where I tend to go toe to toe with two mediums. I ain't got the fire rate, they've got a lot more fire rate than me. Gun accuracy, though, as you've seen there, is pretty good 0.36, oh, which nice. only the WZ randomly, the Chinese one, has the same amount of accuracy. So shooting up move can be done if you want to fit a vert style, but it's got it's pretty good on everything. Okay, what, I'm, what I mean by that is 888 points. It's only the LTG that can match it for that WZ has got 900. Yeah. So it's right up there with the amount of hit points. Concealment, it's right up there with the concealment at 0.32, better than some of them. 390 metre view range, top of its class again. Yeah. Only matched by the Americans. Yeah. Power to weight ratio, they're all there or thereabouts, about 24 to 26. I mentioned the gun accuracy, yeah. it lets me down. Really but the gun tries. is accurate, more accurate than most. It's got quite high pen as well at 158. You're not going to get yeah. much better than that. 150 down on the WZ, as we just mentioned, one difference. But this is what I'm talking about. Get yourself that into that position where you can just poke that little turret over, use the 10 degrees of gun depression, use that power you've got. Because, I mean, yeah. this thing's putting holes in 2.2 range, yeah. not too bad. Look, not bad. it's not struggling. I mean, yeah. we, we are up against it here, like, team-wise. Yeah. <laughs> team-wise, we're up against it, and it's going to get a little bit worse for us any time now. Worse. There's going to get two heavy yeah. tanks come from us rear quite quickly. Traverse as well, 44 degrees, you're going to see that now in full regard. So what's it mobile? Can it circle tanks? Just about on the right side of the speed. Can we stay clear it? Because you do not want to get rammed in one of these things. No. You can't get rammed. Oh, you've got no, yeah, you've got no weight, you've got no power, you've got no armour. It's just not going to happen. You've got two of them after you. They're coming big time quick. Try and keep evade that gun as best we can. We're putting rounds in here. Finish them off. Yeah, he's panicking now. Yeah, we've got it. We've got the other side of the turret. Just worry about the artillery rounds when trying to back his teammate up there. Is this tank player dependent? Could I play this? Yeah, I think you can have a lot of fun here, but you've got to remember if if you take this tank out and you yeah. try and use it as some racing around, spotting things quickly, racing around, you're not going to last long. It's okay. the quickest way to get one of these things back in the garage. Okay. You've got to use it more in this kind of role, get into flanking positions, use its speed. It, pretty much use it as like a fast tank destroyer. But we, it's it got fantastic right. concealment, look at that. Yeah. We weren't spotted from there by that guy until mm. we fired the gun. Then his six yeah. sense kicks in. Bulldog here, let's see if this can pull some it shots off. Now, we fire, yeah. we see they were firing eight rounds up, we've got that spaced armour outside and we've spotted as well. So I've switched back to a standard AP, we're not going yeah. really to sure what to pen with that. Pop straight in. Sweet. Fire rate, damage, penetration, the gun's got pretty much everything. Only thing it's lacking, shell velocity. Yeah. But over these short distances, not too bad. But Trying to uh, something on the field on more of Anchor or Malinovka, for instance, oh, at a distance, distance yeah. it's just not going to go in. It's not happening. Yeah. But we say it's slow. It's still 58 kilometers an hour. Your top ones are going to be your CMCD. They they are the fastest you're going to get. So if I were going to round this up, passive at the beginning. You got to stay passive. Yeah. You don't want to go racing in. You're just going to get blown up. People tend to think it's like an ELC at tier seven, rolling round fast with a big gun on it. You don't play that way. Hang back. Pick your targets, pick your spots, work them out. We've got a nice score killer though, fine. 4,000 damage and 8 kills. Yeah, you did quite well, to be fair. Anyway, I think that rounds it up, Killer 05. I think you beat me to it, I didn't even have to ask you. So, thank you very much, Killer 05, for that excellent gameplay. 
and latest people.